How, can I just see a raise of hands? Like, how many of you are aware of Korea's cultural positioning in the world? How many of you have heard of BTS? Halloween은 한계가 없다. 나는 한국 그 자체의 매력에 빠져 40년 가까이 연구했으며 앞으로도 한국은 계속 성장해 갈 것이라 믿는다. 미국 펜실베니아 주립대에서 인종, 성별 및 문화 관계라는 과목을 강의하고 있는 샘 리처드 교수. 그의 강의에는 매 학기 800여 명의 학생이 수강할 정도로 엄청난 인기입니다. 사실 그가 본격적으로 이름을 알리기 시작한 것은 전 세계적인 한류의 유행과 시기가 맞닿아 있습니다. 특히 2018년 강의에서 방탄소년단이 누구인지 모른다면 앞으로 세계에서 경쟁할 수 없을 것이라고 말한 영상이 유튜브로 퍼지며 한류의 인기를 예상한 교수로 명성을 얻기도 했는데요. 그는 한류를 비롯한 문화 현상 뿐만 아니라 사회 경제학적 관점과 한국의 전통, 역사까지 폭넓게 조망하며 한국에 대해 잘 알지 못했던 미국 학생들에게 영감을 주고 있죠. 그러나 미국에서 손꼽히는 한류 연구학자인 샘 리처드 교수가 늘 한국에 대해 좋은 점만 이야기하는 것은 아닙니다. 때로는 한국의 현실을 신랄하게 짚어내기도 하는데요. 오늘은 그가 지난 10월 한국에 다녀간 후 미국에서 진행된 강의를 번역해 소개해드리겠습니다. And my mind goes to two words. And the two words are like, holy shit. Like, what happened? And I start asking myself questions. And the questions are the things that guide me and lead me and lead me to keep asking more questions. And I just want to know more and I want to know more, right? And not Korea is a socioeconomic geopolitical miracle. What, what Korea has done, you know, in my lifetime, we'll say in the past 55 years or so, has been something that we've really never seen in human history to reach a level of modernization, growth and development that we just have never seen. Uh, I, I, it's really, if you want to be, you know, many of you are probably are fascinated by, uh, you know, Korean culture and K-pop and this sort of thing, but it, it all comes from something. And if you look at those numbers there, South Korea in 1965, the GDP is 3.1 billion and now it's 1.8 trillion. You know, Korea, you know, in 1965, the economy was, the, the country of Ghana was wealthier than Korea. The country of Algeria was wealthier than Korea. Dude, Tunisia was wealthier than Korea. And now Korea is the 10th largest economy in the world. And so if you don't, if you don't think about, you don't have to think about a lot, really, right? But that... Just that alone, if you have any interest in really kind of understanding, you know, global issues or the war, anything at all, that alone would lead me as a sociologist to say, damn, what, what happened? And which is, of course, what it has maintained my interest in Korea. I first started, uh, I was first interested or introduced to Korea back in the mid 80s with, through uh, some of the early to mid 80s when I had some graduate student friends from Seoul and I started to really kind of dig into Korean uh, geopolitics and economics and and familiarize myself with the culture and a lot of things and so I you know I became just fascinated by Korea and I have watched it you know over the course of the past 40 years just expand and by the way you know uh the U.S. 23 trillion in 2021 last year right so just to kind of give you a sense of of where the U.S. is. If you're a country, if something grows as quickly as Korea has grown and expands, it's never going to happen evenly. It's going to be very, very difficult for Korea to overcome. And by the way, how, can I just see a raise of hands? Like, how many of you are aware of Korea's cultural positioning in the world? Like the Korean wave, you know, like food and and uh and music and k-dramas and k-film 
and so on and so forth. K fashion and K beauty and everything K, K gaming and K animation. Like how many of you are really aware of Korea's position in the world? I'm just thought, raise your hands high. I just want to really see you. And, and out of curiosity, how many of you have heard of BTS? Huh. And how many of you have heard of Blackpink? I want to give I want to talk about a couple of things that are going to frame the conversation we have today. A couple of the struggles that Korea is undergoing right now is trying to figure out how to continue to grow at, at the pace at which um, uh, that, that, that makes sense, that allows them to sort of sustain, you know, to s- continue to grow. It's very difficult to do. So housing price, this is the average apartment price in Seoul. And almost every, everyone has an apartment. You know, in, in 2017, it was $500,000. This is U.S. dollars. And then, look, just three years later, it's almost $800,000. So imagine in three years, the average price of an apartment appreciates by that much, right? Like, and whereas these are the other kind of larger cities in in Seoul. So you can imagine th- the, it's a country that's also very much in turmoil. Um, and as a result of that, y- young people, and we're going to talk about people in their 20s a lot today, uh, that have, are, you know, having to work multiple jobs, man, are just like, because when apartments go up that, when, when the, 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 the price of apartments is that steep, you can assume salaries and wages are not increasing at the same level. Just like, look what's going on. Like people are just taking on any other jobs. Just people are just trying to get going and survive and, and make a way for themselves, right? And I, w- I want to talk about this today. I'm just giving you some data here because this is data that I'm going to draw on in our conversation. So fertility rate is that every childbearing woman has to have 2.1 children in order for a population to reproduce itself. Without 2.1 children, the population can't continue at its current rate. It's going to decline. And Korea is 0.9, meaning the Korean population is actually decreasing. And so this is the standard sort of population pyramid. You've got to have a lot of people at the bottom to take care of the people at the top because people at the top require a lot of work. And then this is 1960, here's 1990. Look at how the bottom is really starting to grow up. But the very bottom gets smaller, 2010, and this is 2030. And there's not enough people down here. you got to have workers. No country can grow economically without people at the bottom of its population pyramid filling the jobs that need to be filled. And so every country is, is in an that runs into this runs into ultimately a period of decline unless you can find some way out of it like like ai or something like that right artificial intelligence robots i mean something but otherwise you you can't you can't continue to grow 오늘 이야기 어떻게 보셨나요 오늘날 20대는 물론이고 많은 이들이 투잡 쓰리잡을 하는 걸 쉽게 볼수 있는데요 이 부분까지 면밀하게 짚어낸 모습에 감탄할 수밖에 없었습니다 강의 분량이 길어 오늘은 여기서 마무리하고 다음 영상에서 내용을 이어가려고 합니다. 시청해주신 여러분 감사드립니다.